second part of the question is just, did, did you think you would be able to stay uh, the whole sixth? Did you think that uh, Ned would let you stay out the whole sixth with all those pitches? Uh, I think um, it was uh, a lot of pitches really close, but I haven't seen the video yet. But yeah, it was gonna he was gonna worry a little a, a little bit about me in that inning. But you know, like I said, I was able to to make a lot of good pitches to to get out of that inning. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just making my pitches. You know, I don't know if they get the trade or not. Hey, Jerry. Yeah, two for Edinson. Um, the crowd during that inning when you were throwing all those pitches started yelling Eddie, Eddie. How much did that maybe help you get through that inning and kind of yeah? Some somebody energy? somebody told me I was throwing ninety six and ninety seven, but I think uh, here you know hearing that from the fans, you know, it's a lot of energy. They give me more energy to to you know to to pitch the the way the way I pitch in that inning, and uh, it was great to see all those fans over there. Man, it's, like I said, it's a lot of energy. The other question was. Um, you and Cueto are pretty good buddies, and he pitched a great game the other night. Uh, did that inspire you at all? Did you guys, did you feed off that a little bit, you think, maybe? Well, yeah, you know, like I said, we, we're pretty good friends, and and, and, I, and see, and I see, I see what, what he did the other day, you know, it's like, you know, it was time for me to do something good, you know, especially the playoffs. I haven't, besides tonight, I haven't won the game in the playoffs, and, and, and I got one tonight. And uh, I think I got a, lot, a little bit of motivation from, from him. Blair. Also for Edison. Edison, we spent a lot of time in the pregame talking about pitching inside. That didn't seem to happen a lot. <laughs> Wait, tell, tell us about the shift in philosophy there. Um, I said it yesterday. I, will, I, will, I said I'm going to pitch inside. I'm going to pitch on both sides of the plate. And uh, tonight, when we come from the, from the bullpen, I thought, I thought to Salve about how we're going to pitch this guy. And we changed, we changed the whole plan. The game plan and it was like okay we, it, we know we, they got a lot of a lot of pool hitters over there and, and power hitters and and, uh, and he, he told me like how you feel how you feel pitching pitching down the way and I was like I said I feel sexy tonight <laughs> and uh, he was like all right let's change this plan right now we're gonna we're gonna pitch those guys out away and like uh, well it was good because I was able to to command my fastball down the way my my, my two seam was you know started off the play came back right to the corner. Okay, Doug. I'll see. These leadoff guys are supposed to on base percentage supposed to be high. You're supposed to take a lot of pitches. You do the opposite. I mean, and it works for you guys. Uh, you swung at the first pitch tonight. You guys won the game. Is there any way to explain how that happens? Is that just a weird thing that that goes on with you guys? You know, always I swing the third pitch when I strike. You know, they throw me right fastball right down the middle and swing the third pitch. And then next at bat, he threw me curveball for the strike and I swing again. You know, like I said. Dale, the hitting coach, told me, when you see every ball right there, no matter what, just swing the ball. The guys on the bench, uh, they get excited when you swing at the first pitch. Yeah. Like yeah, those guys, my old teammate, he, li he liked that because he say, when you go outside, say, continue to be aggressive over there, just swing the ball. Jeff. Eddie, um, Eddie, you threw 37 pitches in that sixth inning. Did it feel like 37? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, if you, if, you, if, you, uh, if you put a 17 in front. <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was a long inning. But um, what I told this guy outside, you know, I was I was able to, to stay under control and, and, and make a lot of good pitches to, to get out from that inning. And uh, the key for that inning, I think, is don't panic. You know, you stay under control and, and make a lot of good pitches. I've been, I've been in that situation before, so I don't have to... You know, I, I know, I know how I gotta get out from that inning. Any point, Ned might come and get you. Yeah, I was looking over there, and uh, <laughs> I look at the point, uh, to the bullpen, and uh, I don't see anybody warming up. And I, were, I was turned around, looking to the for the dugout, and I was like, I see, I see him, I saw him sitting over there. I was like, all right, I got still, I guess I, I, I can still pitching, and uh, and uh, I threw a lot of good pitches. They came up to the mound and, and, and told me to stay under control and, and, and get this guy and stay down away with this guy. I know, he told me, I know you've been pitching down away all night. He says, keep doing it. Standing in the back. Just for both of you guys, uh, talk about the crowd and just uh, the role that they played uh, throughout the game. And it seems like they never let up. The rally towels were going the whole time. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. 
you know, when you see, when you play at home and you you see about probably forty five thousand people, you know, supporting you, it's a lot of motivation for the team, and I think everybody love that, love to see a lot of fans on the stands and, and cheer for us. On the right, Edison, how, how special was it to to pitch with the lead, to have the team go out do something for you early against a team that is best feeling in the world. <laughs> it's, it's always great when you we take the lead and you know you pitch your first inning and, and you can back to the dugout and, and right away right from the get go you, you you score some runs so it's a it's a it's a less less pressure for 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 everybody I think uh, everybody was like all right let's go we, we're gonna get some more we're gonna get some more and uh, you know it's it going through your mind you know you stay in the game longer to to get that win. Um. You told Perez you're feeling sexy. <laughs> Obviously, things were working with you guys tonight. Even with his hand a little banged up, he immediately went and got the, the water cooler to pour on you. <laughs> yeah, he got me. Can both me. of you talk I about what he like, yeah, It's too cold, man. Don't, don't do that. And uh, he was like, okay, we don't do that. And uh, the, sooner, the sooner I found out, he was right behind me with a bucket and threw, put it in my head. Just And with, you know, three home runs this postseason, just what, what does he mean to this, this clubhouse for, uh, for both of um, you guys? Win the first game is going to be big for, for, for the team, you know, especially when you play at home. We don't wanna, you don't want to go to Toronto, you know, all two, you know, and uh, it was a great win for the team and, and for the city. I think uh, we got, now we got a couple more games to play, and uh, I hope Ventura can win tomorrow and show up. Okay, Alton. Uh, this is for, uh, for Alcides. Um, wh why do you think you guys win so frequently when you bat leadoff? You know, I heard that when I been little, when I said that when I swing the the first pitch, got like record like 40 and 19, something like that. that like uh, everybody said, just continue to swing the ball and make some great contact right there and try to get on base. And I know the second half didn't go the way you wanted it to this season. What does it mean to you to be contributing the way you have so far in the playoffs? You know, I got a really good experience in the playoffs from last year to this year. I got a lot of fun game, you know, like the game in Houston, the great combat and the eight inning. We won the game coming back home and won the series in here. And like tonight starting, we win the game, like the ball can say. We won in here coming back tomorrow and play hard trying to win again. Last question, Manolo. I'll see this. Um, Ned was talking a while ago about the, what he liked about some of your players, including yourself and Salvador Perez, the fun that you guys have every time you go to the field. Could you talk a little bit about that? Where does where fun for the game comes from you guys, especially from you? You know, the game is like like always, like I say, play, go outside and be have a lot of fun. You know, everybody on the team go outside and play hard. We have a lot of fun and, you know, I smile and and just for night inning, it's like just play hard. Okay, both of you, thank you very much. Thank you, guys.